Welcome newly awakened. April 28, 2014. Dear ones, this week's channel is for the newly awakened who have not yet established who you are or what is happening to you and those around you. Perhaps you are feeling frightened, tired, or are reviewing issues you have never reviewed before. All part of your new earth transition. There are those among you who passed this place months or years ago. Such a statement is not for you to believe they are wiser than you, they are merely different with different roles. The role of these scout masters was to create the path you are now discovering. At some future time, you will deviate from that path, just as those ahead of you are now deviating from the path they created for you. You are not alone in your fears or your awakening. Those who have gone before can attest that you will find your path to joy and love. But for now, just as would be true if you were attending a special event, you will wish to cleanse yourself of those pieces that encourage or force you to remain in 3D thought and action, that do not allow you to sparkle. Eventually, your perceptions will shift. Your inner circle of friends and family will likely change. And your being will experience less pain and much more joy. But that is yet in your future. We are merely holding the carrot out to you much as we did those who already traveled this path. Many of the scout masters, who discovered and cleared the general path so your experience would be easier and more rapid, are concerned because you do not yet have their wisdom. What they have not thought about is that those of other dimensions will provide those of you newly awakened with information and support, just as was true for them months or years ago. No one is ever alone. You who are newly awakened also have easy access to the wealth of information created by scout masters via the internet, books and other materials. It is not appropriate for you to expect a teacher from the scout master level. For your first inclination will be to turn to those in your circle who have gone before. And while and those scout masters are familiar with the feelings and experiences you are now having, most likely their path does not include slowing down or stopping to help you. Perhaps that thought seems a bit cold, and very much unlike your 3D world. For in your 3D world, all should be willing to help. Shoulds no longer apply. If you encourage those at the forefront to slow down or stop to help you, pieces of this amazing new earth tapestry will not be completed. You are fully capable of moving through all you wish to move through, as those who went before can attest. They have left vital information not only for you to survive, but to thrive, as they are now starting to do. Demanding they abandon their new unique path to help you is to move both of you off your paths. For you are starting yours, the general cleansing path all travel before discovering their unique path. They cannot cleanse for you. In truth, they cannot do much for you other than commiserate how uncomfortable you might be. And that memory is fading as they move further into their unique joy path. You are an important part of New Earth, of the Universal Tapestry. But before you become a full-fledged Universal Being, you must cleanse yourself of your 3D beliefs and pain, just as those who went before you did. They are not your keepers, they are merely path creators. They have completed the role they accepted before birth on Earth at this time. Now they are creating the new world that you will inhabit and refine once you complete your cleansing. Cleansing is not something many enjoy. Think of how uncomfortable your love dog feels as you attempt to bathe him. 3D cleansing is no more life-threatening to you than is true for your dog. You cannot move into new earth with 3D thoughts and beliefs. So it is that it is time to cleanse yourself, even if you do not want to, even if you are frightened. You will survive and sparkle more with each personal cleansing knowing, as those who went before knew, you can stop or slow the process at any time. Perhaps you do not wish to inhabit New Earth, then stop the process. Or you feel overwhelmed, slow it down. As was true for those who went before, the process adapts to your being. This is not a universal shift you must participate in but instead a universal shift that you are welcome to participate in. Your end product is a sparkling being of love and joy with fear greatly diminished. And because of the Scout Master's diligence, 
you will complete your cleansing more quickly and easily than was true for those who went before. You and those who went before created this new age. Now you have the same choices they did. For you all completed your major role in this lifetime by creating the new age. If you wish to live in that new age in your current physical body, you will complete your 3D cleansing. If not, we thank you for your participation in the creation of this glorious age and encourage you not to request assistance from those who have new roles to play. So be it. Amen. Channeled by Brenda Hoffman www.lifetapestrycreations.com